Mikey Williams has a career path that's kind of slightly reminiscent of LaMelo Ball, especially when you look at him at a very young age, at a, a, a slight junctures of their career. You know, they both have done things differently. You know, uh, but I'm just I'm just saying when you when you look at the the shoe deals, you know, uh, in high school, you know, uh, I mean this this stuff ain't never been done before. This is some new age things, man. When you when you are literally a superstar, you know, in high school, like we all know, Melo, you know, uh, all kind of cars, fancy chains, everything, you know, in high school, you know, could you imagine, you know, uh, and Mikey Williams is very similar you know this man just signed a lucrative deal with puma in high school you know uh we all know you know uh lamello ball is with puma as well you know also lamello ball my man Melo, we all know he had the triple b situation you know with um when he was in high school you know he had the mb ones out you know uh, which was very complicated the ucla situation you know we'll get into that you know but i mean it is what it is you hear people uh, trying to say uh, that deal with Puma could possibly, you know, do whatever. But I don't I don't think that's going to be the case with Mikey Williams. His father has came out and said they do plan on going to school, you know, uh, so it's a college. So hopefully we don't get robbed like we were with uh, with the LaMelo Ball situation. I feel like it was a lot of complications. Melo definitely did want to go play uh, in the NCAA. I think he would have electrified, lit up the whole situation. It was it was truly grand larceny that we didn't get an opportunity to witness that. But I mean, it, what, what can we do? You know, we just got to keep it pushing and keep it moving. You know, um, it is what it is, but you got we got to keep it 100. Mikey Williams is 17 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, signing a historic shoe deal with Puma. You know, so uh, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, and it was, for, it was for some good numbers, you know, especially for a teen athlete. You know, so we all know what's in the making in the future. We all know we ain't got any indication. You know, Puma, I think, got they got they pulse on the situation. And, I, and I'm going to get to that later on in the future. But I don't want to do too much talking here. I want to keep it on uh, Mikey Williams. But you got to give give it one. Got, got to give a pat on the back to Puma. You know, would they clearly see what's going on with LaMelo Ball? You know, LaMelo Ball broke all kinds of scoring records up in Chino Hills. You see Mikey Williams breaking records out there in San Diego. You know, um, it, it's crazy, you know, what's going on. It seemed like um, when Mikey Williams debuts his, you know, signature shoe, which I don't know how when that will be because he is still in high school. Uh, I don't know what's up with the UCLA. Do we wait for that? I believe he's a two, 2023 uh, class as well, you know, so I'm not really sure, you know, um... How, 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 how's that going to work in terms of his signature, you know, or, or, or will he be able to play college basketball, which I do believe he will be able to get that opportunity. You know, uh, the kid is a kid is a problem, you know, um, just balling everywhere. He did. He was playing. He it was crazy because we all know LaMelo. He went to play basketball in Spire. You know, uh, Mikey Williams also played basketball in North Carolina. You know, he he it was crazy. I'm trying to tell you, this wow. L.A. kids going to the East Coast, you know, to follow their dreams, you know, and you see what's all going on. LaMelo Ball, you know, we all know MB1 signed something crazy with Puma. Let's keep it, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. Um, LaMelo Ball signed for reportedly it was a $100 million Puma deal, ladies and gentlemen. It was reportedly worth $100 million. You know, um, and that was from the Gerald Flores Esquire, you know, uh, and the deal is worth that much along with the access to a private jet. Now, I think we've done already seen the private jet on numerous occasions. So uh, you got LaMelo Ball, MB1 hopping in and out of private jets, going to all star games, you know, various different uh, locations, you know. So this is the life of a superstar. This is the life of the face of a brand, you know, and LaMelo Ball, we all know has, you know, pretty much experience being the face of a brand. Let's keep it 100. Triple Bs, they all are the faces of the brand. You know, it's, it's LeVar, it's Lonzo, it's Melo, and it's LiAngelo. And, of course, their, their mom, Tina. You know, so, I mean, it, it's, it's truly a family situation. You know, uh, so it's, it's no, it did not shock me at a young age, you know, uh, with LaMelo having that, you know, much responsibility, moving sneakers, moving um, just everything, you know, in terms of just a brand, you know, 
it's, it's not surprising that LaMelo comes to Puma and is just basically a shoe in you know, um, and just uh, just really just did it all. I mean, I'm telling you, you don't ever see that much advertisements. They do. They did have it a, uh, a lot during the season, I'm, but I think they need to up the ante a little bit more, you know, but I'm telling you, uh, LaMelo Ball it was perfect for Puma because he had experience doing this, you know. So now with just, uh, just a, even a crazier situation with Puma behind him, I mean, the Lord have mercy. Now, when you look at Mikey Williams at age 17, you know, coming on to the brand, that's like massive attention, you know, when you're in Puma. So this, this man already at a young age has received, you know, uh, just attention out the ass. Instagram is retarded. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure he, he is hard to function. You know, when, when it's time for him to get his signature sneak and be out in the forefront, like how you see LaMelo, like how you see some of these other athletes when they sneakers are out, you know, you're going to see Mikey Williams be able to take the bull by the horn because of the experience that he's had at a young age, you know, running with the brand, you know, uh, representing the brand. It's just everything is going to come together at the right time. You know, that's all I can let you know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what college you know, uh, or or if he goes, um, who knows, you know, it could always be some different changes. But I believe the guys like Mikey Williams, these guys are ready for the NBA. You know, obviously, you know, college wouldn't hurt, you know, to get that experience. But these guys are ready. You know, you, we don't want to, you know, we don't like Zion Williamson was ready in high school. Like LaMelo was ready in high school. Lonzo was ready in high school. I'm just saying just certain players just don't have to go you know, to college, you know, I, I'm just saying, I understand why they, you know, changed it, but certain people don't have to go to college, you know, and I'll and I, and I leave it uh, pretty much like that. I'm not going to continue to beat the bull by the horn, you know, uh, but I mean, it, 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 it truly, it is what it is out here, man. You know, y'all look out for Mikey Williams, man, doing this thing with Puma, you know, uh, and we all know what the mellow ball is going to be doing. You know, uh, this upcoming season being moved to the number one. We see Mikey Williams with that big number one chain. You know, I'm telling these young boys, y'all. You feel me? It's flight sports. It's young boys. You know, that's, that's out here really making impact out here and noise, you know. So I can only imagine, you know, the, the next crop. When we looking at the superstars today, when I tell y'all the next, the next crop of talent that's about to rush into the league is going to be, it, I'm telling you, they ain't going to miss a beat. We ain't going to miss a beat, I'm telling you. I don't think people are truly paying attention to the stars of tomorrow. We got some bright ones. You know, the NBA is going to be bright, man, with, with these guys coming in. When you see these players retire and things of that nature, don't feel sorry, don't feel sad. You know, that's definitely an opportunity for the new age players like Mikey Williams, like some of the young players in the NBA today, to take take everything, you know, for what it's worth you know, and carve their own lane. It's Flight Sports TV. We appreciate everybody for checking with me.